What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and I like to welcome you guys back to my RC Chop Shop. And as you can see here, I have my Devo 7E uh disassembled. Um the reason for this is this FPV kit here that I have, I really would like to be able to attach it to my Devo 7E. Because uh, a lot of the aircrafts that I like to fly, that I would like to fly FPV, um, I can control it with my Devo. I get a lot more precise control with my Devo flying these aircraft. So I would rather be able to fly them with my Devo 7E. So what I'm out to do is mod my Devo to be able to fit this bracket here and I have a pretty decent method for modding transmitters and getting them to fit that bracket there um, as you can see here this is the JJRC X1's transmitter and I have modded it with uh, holes for both styles or both size brackets this one here the wide one fits in these holes here that I made. And uh, hold on for a second. Let me put the light on here so you guys can see this. So I put the holes for the smaller sized bracket there. And the larger bracket fits in here. And it fits pretty nice. There, you just press them in there. And then do the other attachment on here and be ready to go with the screen mounted. So I just want to do that mod to this Devo here. And I had to take it apart, unplug uh, this connection here. This is the power connection there and charge power and charger chip there. I unplugged that and I'm not sure what this one over here is. I think that's the... Um, the trainer port or something but anyhow I disconnected that to be able to remove the back cover from the front of it and now I'm just gonna put some holes here to be able to fit this bracket on now how I do this well I just measure where about I'm gonna put the hole need to be putting the holes I, oh yeah, I had to remove this bracket here, the handle. Had to remove the brass handle off of there. So I can fit this in here. I think I'm gonna go with the holes right about there on it. Yeah, so what I do, I have a heat gun. Just get a screwdriver. Uh, one of those screwdrivers that they include <laughs> in uh, the mini multi-rotors, the toy multi-rotors that we buy all the time. Uh, so you can just use that to heat it. Use a heat gun to heat this up is what I do. Um, but I guess you can use other methods like using a stove to heat the, um, the screwdriver or whatnot. And then I just twirl it and press it through. Melt it right through, and then I take another larger screwdriver and kind of drill it in to get the uh, the hole cut really nice, and then it fits. So um, let's get started on this one. Okay, so this is going to be a fairly quick and easy fast mod we're going to do on here. Let's see. Mark them. Actually, I'm just going to put the holes right over top of this structure here where the bracket goes. So, yeah, so just right in there is where I'm going to put it. Let me check my antenna. See how far I need the bracket to go up. It's going to be over the, yes, it's going to be just over the antenna, which is good. So, let me go heat my screwdriver up. Okay, so I ran and grabbed the heat gun from in the other room. So we got the heat gun on deck. 
Turn on the heat gun. That's how we're going to do it here. So I'm going to use this as my reference here. I'm going to line it up right here. And just push it straight through here once it gets hot. And this heat gun heats it up uh, fairly fast. So, like I said, it's going to be real quick. Quick mod. Okay. Through here. Just a, apply a little pressure and the heat makes a groove there. So, now we got our reference point with the screwdriver when we drill it in. The larger one. Okay, so I couldn't find my screwdriver that I usually use, so I decided to go with this star bit here. So I'm gonna try and get this star bit in there. Maybe I might might have to start off smaller. Okay, so it seems like it's the right size to get in there. As you can see, I just twist it, and that seems to drill it through. From the outside. Okay, so I ran and grabbed my little screwdriver with the larger bits in it. So. And I went ahead and drilled this one the same size as this one. So now I'm going to use my larger screwdriver to make it large enough for the bracket to fit on. Now our bracket should fit on there pretty easy. There we go. So okay, just make sure you plug those two cables back in on the inside of your Devo. Okay, the Devo is still working correctly. Okay, I'm done. And basically, I took one for the team here, fellas. Uh, I had to make my holes in the back a lot larger than what I would have had to have made it. So if you um following this and you are going to do this mod, just make sure you make your holes, start your holes farther up you can see I have a gap in space there and here as well no big deal it's still secure on here and so now I'm ready to fly some FPV uh, using my Devo Great. <laughs> Try to cut that corner. Looks like our transmitter might be dying. Camera. Have to go to line of sight.
camera died on us. <laughs> this thing is awesome for SPV. <laughs> for toy breed SPV, anyway. <laughs> Thank you.